Greetings and welcome to Die and Die Presents The Grimstone Chronicles, Season 4, Episode 37. I am your DM and host, Marty, joined by the full Ontario crew. Let me get their mics nice and toasty like the Nine Rings of Hell. There we go. Ooh. A aggressive what with the Rings of Hell and all the... Well, it's a little appropriate given where uh, we left off the last uh, scene. I'm getting a D&D &D ad for your stream for the, the, uh, the movie. Uh, cool. I hope people enjoy the film. I have no urge to go see it. I I will see it when it comes out on like DVD or. I'm on a way more excited but... for John Wick Four. Really? I As... don't... Especially since it was supposed to be four and five, and they said screw it, we're just going to end at four. That yep. makes me happy because it's going to end end right. Hey Fox. Yeah. We're going to be like we're old man and we're done. Mm. I like, I like hey Fox. Idea. I've seen the first three. Yeah, I saw the third yep. one. And I couldn't tell you what happens in one and two, which is why I have no real interest in seeing the fourth. You couldn't uh, in one and two or two and three. His dog died. Sorry, two and three. One. Well, I remember one. Day... <laughs> and then he goes. Nuts. Damn it! You ruined it, Martin. <laughs> His dog died. He kills everyone. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, I rewatched John Wick one yesterday. It okay. is fucking. John John uh, John Wick one is good. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But uh, two and three, I was like, uh, okay. The, I, just the line... I just remember he runs and kills more people. That's it. You hear that, Keanu? Freaking Mark's calling you out, buddy. What are you going to do about it? He's in Sudbury. And... <laughs> the, the I'm in Ottawa. It's cool. You murdered that for me is a good line um, in terms of like for an emotional outburst. Um, I know. It is cooking stream with Mark. <laughs> Mark can cook. So what Ahmed was referring to, noodles, um, bam! my wife is currently on a, uh, a, a work thing. And the work thing she was at had a public speaker, or like a motivational speech or whatever, from Mike Tyson, <laughs> as in the guy, Iron Mike, the guy who knocks people's heads off and occasionally nibbles the ears. Um, one of the best heavyweight boxers ever to have walked the face of the earth. Um, so she got to get go take a photo with Mike Tyson, spent some time with Mike Tyson, and what she decided to tell Mike Tyson is that he was small. My husband's way bigger than you. <laughs> My husband challenges you to a fight. <laughs> Just be wary of every doorbell from now until the end of time. <laughs> so it's like, what do you do? I, I got these texts of like, oh, I, oh, I, I met Mike, I'm talking to Mike Tyson. It's like, okay, Mike accepts he's the small. challenge. <laughs> what do you mean he's small? Why did this come up at all? Oh, he's got a very firm handshake. Yeah, he's got a firm handshake. He's fucking Mike Tyson. <laughs> oh, Adam's so Is dead. Is that the punchy guy? <laughs> yes, sweetie. That's the punchy guy. <laughs> He's so punchy, they gave him a prize once. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was just one of those, oh, this is... why. For me, it was like, why are you talking to Mike Tyson? <laughs> People who fight him and oh, don't die are celebrated. <laughs> oh, we came to work. They even paid millions of dollars to just not die. <laughs> I showed him your picture and I challenged you. <laughs> yeah, we're sorry. You know, Adam might have to take six months off of game to recover. <laughs> Get my jaw wired shut. Yeah. <laughs> Resisting urge, doing Mike Tyson uh, impression. <laughs> Candy Graham. No, 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 Candy Graham. No, not do it. Yeah. <laughs> right to the door. Wow. I'm gonna get you, nerds. <laughs> oh, funny. He, he voiced Mike Tyson mysteries. He's a cool guy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. After I watched Mike Tyson mysteries, I'm like, this guy's got a, a sense of humor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't seen Mike Tyson Mysteries, I recommend you watch Mike Tyson yeah, Mysteries. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. I haven't, <laughs> but it's now I'm not gonna jot it down on a sticky note to Oh, it's you. really funny. <laughs> Is it just like a Netflix or something or uh, I think uh, it's Netflix, yeah. Yeah, I think it's on there, yeah. Why why is it mysteries? Could, oh, uh, Scooby Doo. It's but... Scooby Doo, but with Mike Tyson, Norm Macdonald as a pigeon, <laughs> a ghost, a ghost like a okay. British ghost or some shit, I was yeah. and say, his adopted he, daughter. He would be the last person I would want to startle. <laughs> 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 
kills his clients by accident. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that isn't a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> no mystery there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, we were all doing the Mike Tyson <laughs> voice before before a stream, but we're not going to stream that. Yeah, we, <laughs> we were all trying for to our do lives. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, funny stuff. <laughs> can't okay because yeah, because he's got resources, he'll find us. Mark Ahmed, <laughs> top that. <laughs> I was chasing uh, my uh, my two year old around the the, the older kids' uh, school. They were having a movie, and I took him there for the first time. I was like, yeah, he'll get time to run. He ran. Two-year-old has more energy than I do. Shorter legs, uh, not by much, but still. So two-year-old two has higher con score. Is that? The... It's like a squirrel. You know, muscle muscle to mass ratio. You can just run forever, like. Ha, ha, and I'm like, oh, come on, slow the fuck down. <laughs> I was bowling over uh, uh, people in his way. Shoes untied. <laughs> Slows them down. Yeah. <laughs> Arc. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to fall, I'm like, "Ooh, are you okay, buddy?" Like, uh, all right, great. Practice falling. <laughs> He's really low to the ground. It won't hurt too bad when he. Yeah, falls. they won't be. Oh, he does hurt. Same bounce, with me. When I take a tumble, it's like uh, I only fell like three feet. <laughs> how, <laughs> so how many deal. bones did you break? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <sighs> well, Ahmed's the elder here, so how many bones did you break when you fell three feet? <laughs> Yeah, Ahmed doesn't break bones. He snaps tendons. It's... <laughs> yeah, this is, sucks. His his muscles are brittle. Yep. He's the Literally, they are. It sucks. But oh well. What what can you do? Ahmed, what you're you're you the canary in our in our coal mine of. <laughs> Ahmed, <laughs> a very heard a noise data. down there. Where? <laughs> Well, Adam's dead because when he set up a fight with Mike Tyson, Ahmed's <laughs> <laughs> um, um, gonna have a heart attack he chasing fell. around his two-year-old. <laughs> uh, no, he's gonna fall, break something, and have a heart attack from the pain. That's yeah. gonna happen to me. Mark, what's what's new with you? Um, I I actually did see the D and D movie. Okay, and yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Um, but the player in me couldn't help but go, okay, that's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I can't wait to look at those rules. I'm like, hmm, they, they what did you do? rule set to make it align with the film. I, it's, it's, well, my, my biggest thing was they're assembling this group and like, we need someone who knows magic. I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? You're a bard. What do you mean you don't know magic? <laughs> it's, it's like, you know magic. You're a bard. No, he, he doesn't cast any spells. The druid casts zero spells, shape changes into anything, but doesn't know spells. Huh. Hmm. It's like they read the title of the class <laughs> went, and had uh, no... And just went, yeah. This is what they do. Here's the base. Oh, he's a musician. <laughs> I understand why they Search didn't have a healer <laughs> in their party, because healing cinematically reduces a lot of the quote-unquote risk. Yep. Um... Whereas in a grindy D and D game, it's necessary in a cinematic universe. That yeah, yeah. Has yeah. Risk, maybe not, but the paladin technically should have some healing, unless they yeah. ditch that in Five E. I don't know. Uh, I, I, no, I think they still have it. I think they still have it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not super up on Five E rules. Don't get me wrong. To be wrong, how was how was the realms lore? The realms lore was pretty much spot on. Okay, interesting. Yeah, like like the. It's as up to date as I remember it being. So, like, my realms lore stopped at fourth ed because they did a bunch of things to the um, planes. No, they did a bunch of things to the world. Like, they oh, had, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, masses the, uh, swap out and all that they, stuff. They did, and, they did, yeah. like, I didn't see any dragon folk in the trailer. There, like, there are dragon board. folk. There's, oh, there's there. dragon folk. There's Aarakocra. There's cat folk. Neat. Like some of them are just like you see them, like they're not major characters, but but they're there. They probably just reuse the the, the getups from cats <laughs> for cat folk. <laughs> no, they didn't no. look that bad. Okay. <laughs> the the cat Judy Dench or whatever in cats. her cat suit. Yes. <laughs> but but the, the the paladin in in the movie is like the hyper like. like Everything like the irritating paladin in the game. Like I do everything good, I do nothing bad, and I'm hyper good at everything. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> but 
But then because they're going to go do a uh, a heist, he's like, well, I can't be part of that. Good luck. It's called Thieves. <laughs> right? It's a movie of yeah. fucking thieves. Yeah. yeah I, I'll, I'll see it because it's, from what I hear, the only D&D movie I, that is actually good. Yeah. I, I, I was... I didn't have high expectations going in. I was pleasantly surprised. Nice. Aside from the nitpicking, like, I'm a nerd. That's not right, because I'm a nerd and I know D&D. Yeah. <laughs> well, hmm. my hobby's name is on the fucking title screen. I'm allowed I to get to read. nitpick. I get to nitpick. Exactly. <laughs> I've been oh, doing just... that longer than the people who made the movie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can say that. I don't know if I can. Marty can definitely say that. Yeah, I wonder. If, uh, yeah, I. I've been physically playing for years. Okay, now nine hours yeah. a week minimum. Yeah, uh, the napkin <laughs> math is equal to years. Yeah, spent yeah. Literally at the table. Um. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah, I'll I'll watch it. I'm just not like running out to the theater to go watch it. Yeah. Uh, I'll... Um, I'm gonna hold off. I'll see if I can grab it, and when we come down, we'll watch it then. That'll be yeah, fun. Yeah, this summer maybe. Uh, I've, I've got <laughs> pause a, it every five a... minutes. That's wrong. <laughs> I've, I've got yeah. a ton of things for us to watch otherwise. So um, nice. It's good. Uh, oh, and uh, one more thing is also an Easter egg to watch out for for those of you who watch the um, Dungeons and Dragons cartoon from the '80s. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. That, oh, that's how oh, old I am. Do they have one of the characters from that show in it? They have all of them. What? Oh, it, 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 it's 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 not even really mentioned. It's not mentioned. They're just like another party. <laughs> that they're not named. There's no interaction between them. They're just like background. <laughs> but it's like it's like oh, okay, that's funny. Okay, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. I appreciate that. <clears throat> oh, that's that's weird. That's weird that they would pull from that, and not like if it's just some other party like. The Forgotten Realms has got a ton of adventuring parties that are in actual books and stuff. Uh, yeah. 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 They, they, <clears throat> men they mentioned some characters from the lore. Um, come to think of it, one of them's even shown. Um, but uh, there, it's mostly, it's just about these characters you've never heard of before. And I, I get the sense that they're not very competent. From all the previews that I've seen so far, they're well. Well, like I said, the bard doesn't cast magic, and neither does the druid. So, <laughs> right? They all come. No, it, it actually a little bit reading their character entries. <laughs> it, 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 it actually comes off like most adventuring parties were like, "We got Plan A, that's not working. Let's move to Plan B because <laughs> we didn't know X, Y, Z." The um, the heist movies actually work really well when you have the fun heist movies where they go through the plan. And they show it as planned, and then they show it again as it's all fucked up. Like, I, I like that sort of, it's a heist movie trope that was like a, one of the Oceans movies. I think right, where they're describing yeah. the way that they're going to do it. And they show that, as, and then as it all they're gets doing fucked it. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's the oh shit <clears throat> moment. <clears throat> okay, why don't we do a recap of what ha happened the last uh, couple of games. Um, I'm going to start halfway through the Risk Deep one. Uh, the Steel Rose Expeditionary League and Desaad teleport to the Nezra Falls to confront the Baylor of Slimes, only to gain the attention of a greater foe, i.e. the Demon Lord, Jubilex. Barnabas refuses to leave with the Devils and finds himself wrist-deep in slime. The next, <clears throat> the next game was called Cosmic Burden. The Steel Rose Expeditionary League and Desaad do battle with the Baylor of Slimes and an aspect of the Demon Lord, Jubilex. The presence of the Demon Lord on Volcanica does not go unnoticed. Deific entities keep the skies free of ooze rain, while reinforcements arrive from the pit. Capital P. Barnabas' soul is sundered from his body and ferried to New Dis, where he meets his lawyers. Barnabas has a very important meeting with management. And I think we left off in the middle of the <coughs> meeting with management. So, Marty. Yes. Are the devils going to, at like, uh, in a couple of hours, at least East Coast time, going to be like, oh, April Fool's, free to go. It's all good. <laughs> uh, are we having an April Fool's game? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We no. Are. You might not be. Not that. No. 
Just uh, full, just... You're losing me. <laughs> IP is a bad, bad reception with the IP. Bad reception. That's, that's not how it works. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think they. I think we left off with them uh, um, uh, adjourning for a break with their official proceedings, and a number of the Dark Eight in their human guises might be interested in speaking with Barnabas. Barnabas, you, you know that these are very dangerous entities. While they may have adopted a human guise, you can tell by every, every once in a while, you know, a fiery flash in their eye or just, um, just some hidden strength that you wouldn't expect from uh, mere mortal bodies that do, that do shine through their cigarettes have this really odd um, uh, aroma to them. It's almost like they can't help but not be near the smell of brims brimstone and sulfur. Uh, okay. It might be smoking something that uh, that is similar to that or particularly made for fiendish physiologies. Um, Barnabas, you're, you're basically sat down in a chair and you're... You had told your lawyer that you didn't want him to speak on your behalf? Yeah, he'll, he'll speak on his own behalf. Okay. One of the 106th Legion is is nearby. Um, uh, you do notice that there are multiple of them in the room, and they seem to be, uh, strangely, all the same uh, guys. Well, maybe not so strange. The stews were very similar all guys. Same, yeah. um, let's see. Who is going to approach Barnabas first? Uh, the first person that approaches is Corin. Find Corin. There we go. As Corin walks, with each step, it's almost like his, no, her form begins to change. Like she's, like her footsteps or her movement are, are actually causing clothing and her uh body parts to uh to change shape okay. for a brief moment it was a, a woman in a, lo a long uh a black dress and then it was a, a different man and then it was a halfling and then uh by the time corin reaches you uh the minister of information uh kind of an older man is standing in front of you He's sort of looking at you you feel very unnerved. It's almost like looking through you, or you get the feeling like like you're a zoo animal and they're curious. Uh, maybe Barnabas should, um, as he approaches, he'll just stand up. Because <laughs> um, eh, maybe now is the time to show someone some respect. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, hello. <laughs> you're an interesting thing. Well, they go worse. Agents do, like, straightens up uh, when, when you're called interesting. Uh, you could feel the breath of the 106th Legion uh, um, soldier behind you. Uh, you're pretty sure that the soldier is very wary of you making any sudden movements. No, Barnabas <clears throat> isn't a sudden movement kind of guy, so he doesn't really have much to worry about. Right. <laughs> What makes you so special? Oh, I'm told I'm very, very smart, sir. Mm. You seem to have impressed a few people here. Which means I'm going to have to allocate some resources to keep an eye on you. Oh, uh, all right, then. <laughs> we'll find out what makes you tick. Uh, these days, it's mostly uh, scones and whiskey, but a little bit of coffee every now and then. <laughs> it seems thoroughly unimpressed with Barnabas's banter. Still kind of staring into you, sort of like trying to catch a glimpse of something. Eventually, something must have communicated with uh, Corin, the Minister of Information probably the spy master of hell. Um, some telepathic communication happened and he 
moves away, his form shifting, uh, their form shifting basically as, as they're walking away. Uh, and he ends up beside, he says something, he goes over to Zapan and says something. Zapan is still just staring at you from afar. Some of the other ministers have, uh, are not as interested. The, <clears throat> oh, that went well, says Agent Stu. <laughs> Might not be a good thing. He smiles at his, his own words. That the spy master of hell is taking an interest in you. Well, I was going to keep it all on me. <laughs> hmm. Yes, well. Uh, not everyone enjoys being audited. <laughs> Let's do. So I was. I think it was really, really wanted to spy on me. I don't think he would have told me. Barnabas Darby, there you are, says Furcus as he's got a, uh, like a binder that several clerks are kind of helping him go through. You're Mr. in a list. Furcus. You're in a list. You're in a list somewhere. <laughs> His eyes snap towards you when you, uh, when you refer to him. Yes. Faustian Pact. Oh, not too long ago. That's correct, yeah. Don't think for a moment that I enjoy the fact that you are... that you are or claim to be immortal. You were not born such you are not a mortal when you made this pact, were you? Uh, no, no, I was not. I will have to look into the legality of such things. You have, you may have broken your contract. No, perhaps, but I'm sure, um, no doubt, uh, that it must be some sort of, um, Clause or something in my contract if I become immortal. Focus, leave the immortal alone, says Zapan, and you can you see, you can see uh, Perza is bobbing his head like uh, in agreement. It appears that you're his pet now. Um, Fergus seems really annoyed um, to the point where you may have problems with him in the future. Maybe if I become mortal. <laughs> we wish some privacy with this being, says says Zapan. Uh, the 106th Legion kind of brings you off to the side into a conference room. Um, and as uh, Zapan, you're sort of ferried in, kind of pushed into the conference room. You're sat down in a seat. Uh kind of adjacent to this very large conference room that where the meeting was actually held in. As uh, Zapan walks into the room, he waves a hand, and you can see that the windows of the conference room go dark. It kind of reminds you of a mage's private sanctum. Okay. Following him is uh, uh, Pierza, the Minister of Research, and uh, the guard actually steps outside. Your lawyer... You could see him bobbing next to the conference room table, and he kind of struggles up into one of the one of the bigger seats at the conference uh, uh, the conference table on your side. And um, <clears throat> Perza seems to be lost in thought, and he's sort of pacing around. Uh, but Zapan sits directly across from you. <clears throat> he's fiddling with a cigarette, and he finally lights it. He blows smoke in, in your direction. Well, I'm a... Okay. <laughs> Barn with smoke stew. So <laughs> yeah, you, you... Yeah, this is not normal. This is not normal tobacco. You, you, you cough a little bit. Uh, th this... Zapan seems to smile like like he intended you to, to cough or he, maybe he was trying something. You're not mm -hmm. sure. We must congratulate you for figuring out blood theft, 
says Pierzo. It oh, is not. It is not a. Is not a. Um, a thing we see so many, so much anymore. It used to be all the rage about a millennia ago. I can see why. Ebbs and flows. This is a pen. It ebbs and flows. Perhaps this is the beginning of a trend. Well, you'd know better than anyone else here. Hmm. Yes, I can smell the power on you. You have indeed become a mortal. Which makes your current predicament and he he like rubs his fingers you realize he's touching a ring that has similar um um symbols on it to your bond to your uh your bindings on your wrists okay or on your forearms and and they actually like sear up a little bit when he touches them <laughs> if you work to be reaped when you die being immortal makes this less Certain. Well, statistically, it's an impossibility I should never die. Given that I can still be killed, it's just that it will happen naturally. Yes, it will be more difficult to kill you now. I'll show you already know this, given uh, the violent world that you live on, says Pierza. Mm. Very uncivilized, Volcanica is. Uh, just inaccurate, yeah. Uh, uncivilized, it is. Aside from the lands under the direct control of the Grand Basilica, of course. Mm, even so, a bit provincial. You doubt that there's any prime that the prime world that they like. That, that, yeah, <laughs> it's like you have cars, you win. <laughs> uh, Stu's sitting there. Is there something that you wish from my client? <laughs> Indeed, there is. Indeed, there is. Says Pierza. We have tasks for him to perform. Tasks that we believe he is. Well, uh, newly minted immortaldom might be suitable for. Indeed. I assume you will not work for us willingly. I am um, not known to work for free. Zapan... When adequately paid, I'm more than willing to do most jobs. Zapan and Pierza look at each other like, like they're pleased with your answer. <laughs> Stu, Stu breaks out a pad and is about ready to write stuff down. <laughs> we have not one, but two jobs for you. These are important jobs. Jobs that will help not only management, but will help us Turn the tide of the war itself. And, and that in all wars against chaos to come. Indeed. Oh? It's a curious thing. Something happens to outsiders when they, well, ascend. They become... Just say it. We're quite dull. I see. Uh, does Barnabas know what the hell he's talking about? Dull? Yeah, you're in. Uh, give me knowledge planes. I will take 20. And that gives me. And I will use an inspiration point. Oh, God, I got so many skills. So I'll get 20 plus. I don't have everything set up. Damn it. Oh, there we go. 25. 78. You're, you think that they're making reference to 
mortal choice. Oh, okay. They also could be making reference to the fact that souls end up becoming um, less able to transform into anything other than the outsider lineage that they are in. Mm -hmm. It's a tendency. Um, curious that these devils would be admitting this to you and that this would be at the heart of their problem. You're referring to the point that... Um your particular forms well impressive and mighty are um not prone to mutation spiritually shall we say along those lines he is smart perhaps too smart for his own good yes but mortal he is ours <laughs> mortal choice is what you need and for that you need a mortal or someone who at least was we also need we also need someone who won't set off alarm bells in what we are asking you to do. An alarm bell was already sent off. Yes, yes, Lord Jubilex knows much, but his ability to apply the knowledge still giving up your familiar was a foolish act. If we are to employ you going forward... We, we want much better results and much more caution. Well. You are under my purview now, immortal, as I am the Minister of Immortal Relations. Of course, Minister, but in my defense, how could I have possibly known? I just wanted a glimpse into the future. And sacrificed a devil to do so. Certainly you've sacrificed more than one devil in the name of the blood war. Yeah, he's got you there, Zapan. I... Hmm. Those that are expendable are crushed underfoot for the blood war. Understood, Paul. Yes. There are two tasks that we want to do, um, both dangerous, both difficult in their own way. Um, <laughs> Pierza looks at Stu. I suppose we should just get out with it, and then you could name your price, and we could dicker for a while, and then arrive at a suitable compromise that no one's happy with. It's Sounds usually, like a successful negotiation. It's usually how things go. Well, shall we start with mine or yours? They're both important. Oh, very well. We were already employing you in um, Operation Honey Trap. I'm unaware of my participation in Operation Honey Trap. Were you not given... Um, Purple gemstones? No, um, they were taken, and um, I was told I would be given some, and uh, they've never arrived now. I, I see. I, I understand. I, I know what you're talking about now, though. I under referred to me as Operation Honey Trap. I understanding that a certain purple dragon has employed you in the past. That is. Uh, yeah, I um agreed to worship this um, rock uh, in exchange for not being eaten. And do you still worship the rock? Ah, lip service. Excellent. We will supply you via our replacement imp offerings for this purple dragon. Offerings that you will deliver over time into his hoard. Yes, these gems will have within them the souls of very yeah, important... Perhaps it's best I not know all the details and just perform my tasks, just in case. He is smart. We will deliver... Souls. <laughs> by the hundreds. Very well. And then we will contact you when we have 
a sufficient number of souls for the next step. Very well. <laughs> Stu. Uh, that was not my client, uh, a client uh, agreeing to do this. <laughs> I just find the task is acceptable for a price. And what price would you be, would you want to? Well, that, that is, um, it's a tough one, you see. Um, I think it's best I hear the second task. Then perhaps we can bind the two into a single prize, shall we? Very well. Know that Operation Honey Trap, that is but the first phase. You would also be agreeing, agreeing to phase two and three. Uh, that involves, uh, no doubt, collecting the souls within the killing the dragon, Collecting the souls within the cave and delivering them to you? Eh, not quite. Or would you prefer we take over the mantle of the geode and just collect souls that way? Perhaps we could tell you the full thing, and then we will erase parts of your of this conversation. Very well. My attorney will ensure that they are the necessary parts. He's writing some things down. There's some <laughs> figures that he's already that he's already putting out. Yeah. You're pretty sure it's what he's going to charge. <laughs> First, you need to understand the nature of the planes. He is an expert on planes, isn't he? Yes, but from a mortal's perspective, he's grown up in the backwaters. How is he supposed to know? Mm. Well, uh, he's very rarely would he find himself in a position where he wouldn't say, you can't teach me anything, but I think today <laughs> is a day where he will sit and listen. <laughs> the planes can move. You're referring to the locations of, like, Perhaps the lower and upper planes? Specifically, the planes are constantly in oscillation between losing ground and gaining ground. Put enough souls of one type in one area, and that area can actually translocate to a new plane. So it would be like a bomb you set off to gain ground. Oh, brilliant. What we wish to do with this fledgling new god is flood his his little crutch full of souls that are loyal to hell. And Barnabas is nodding, understanding. We wish to study this aspect of this new god to see if we can he doesn't need to know what we're going to do with it. He only needs to know that we intend to trap the new god, at least its proxy for study. You will be instrumental in all three phases. In particular, phase one and two, which involves corrupting his crutch and then trapping it. So you want the dragon taken alive? Yes. But only when the trap has been set. No, of course, of course. Which brings us to, well, Zapan's um, Yes, they will require magical runes, but we will also need to Perfect a thing that never has been perfected. What sort of thing? We wish to replicate the phenomenon of 
translocating planes, but not via souls, but via runes. I, I never even heard of such a thing. No. Fucking else, do I might need to be smarter for this one? There, there is a puzzle, an ancient runic linguistic puzzle of the planar runes. We want you to solve it. Yes, right. we are very impressed with the with the initial um, uh, test that you had done. And you notice that Pierza produces the little booklet that you had that you had written in. Oh yes, that is uh, some of my better work. Oh, uh, we've got a bunch of little tests, you see. To figure out which mortals can be useful or not. Not my department. No, no, of course not. Some of them end up in your department, though. Yes, like this one. We will send you the primer and some of the research that had been done to conduct uh, into the perfection of the planar runes. Um, all of our results so far have been either unwieldy or unsuccessful. Yes. We will not spend any more time on this directly. It has already cost us much in the way of fortunes and influence pursuing this. Yes, but you did mention you wanted to visit the plains. Yes, that is um, a goal of mine. They say the... Uh... The untraveled man has read but a single page of a book, and I wish to read the library. I see. Um, traveling to each and every one of the planes may be required to solve the runic puzzle. I would be up for such a challenge. Of course, if anyone found out what you were trying to do, it could be war with entities that live there. Well, perhaps it's um, best we erase that part and I just know that I'm supposed to do it. Yes, we will... We will have our best memory surgeons do their, do their work. Of course, his body isn't here. It is just his soul. Ah... I'm sure I can get my body to where it needs to be. Uh, yeah, yeah, even without hands. I don't think this is a job for our usual surgeons. No, I don't think I would trust the Elithids with this either. Yeah, I'd rather not them. Hmm. For now, you will just have to keep your mouth shut. That I can do. <clears throat> Stu clears his throat. <laughs> ah, yes. Now that you know what we we're asking you to do, what would be your price? May I have a few moments to confer with my attorney? Of course. Thank you, Ministers. It's we'll been a pleasure. <laughs> we'll step out. We should probably step outside, Zapan. We've been in here for quite some time. The others will be getting curious. Let them be curious. Not too curious, though. They, they go out. They're having a conversation, you know, telepathically, that yeah. was aside from, from this. <laughs> Stu just starts laughing. Hey, you, you're very important. <laughs> you're very important. This is... Clearly. This is... I, I, in all of my centuries doing this work, I've never really... Well, let's just add Zero here, another zero here, another zero, two zeros yes. there, yes. yes. So my first request is that um, the government or the leadership of hell will pay my attorney's fees. Past, present, and future. Uh, past, yes. Present, of course. Future? I mean, we could ask. Ask. 
you don't ask, you can't get. Well, Stu is literally rubbing his fingers together, like rubbing his hands together in like the the Stoogy greedy <laughs> uh, uh, motion. A little that only a Danny DeVito could pull off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, little stubby fingers. <laughs> yeah, I'm picturing some. Uh... Yeah, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, anything else? Um, yes. Um, I would like... Um, well, you said they could make me smarter. I wouldn't turn that down. But that's not next on the list, I don't think. No, next on the list is, um, I'm not keen on an eternity of suffering in hell. I would be willing, however, to act as a mortal representative or agent for eternity um, on the planes, so long as they exist. Hmm. It's a good thing that we're dealing with Sapan. He's Minister of Immortal Relations, after all. Some of the other Devil Lords might very much want to tear you down a peg. But eternal service as opposed to eternal torment? With the chance of, of course, oblivion. It, you know, this might work. Well, you may be called upon to do other tasks, however. Oh, of course, I can't expect an entire eternity of just fishing. <laughs> Hell is very much of what have you done for me lately type place. Uh, of course, of course. Um, uh, next, I think we can go with the uh, I'd like to be smarter. Um, that could actually help. I mean, get more okay, and obviously it would help me solve the little puzzle. Um, thirdly, um... Oh, that's actually fourth. Legal fees, eternal service, and smarter. Oh, yeah, fourth. Um, uh, uh, shit, Mark had it. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? Uh, new suit or something? Uh, oh, do you know uh, when I was handed over, um, I had things on my hands. Anyone pick those up by any chance? <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, I was handed over to you and your people. And um, this is your soul that I'm talking to. Your body is on the prime somewhere. Well, I know, but Zeria was there. I don't know if any of her underlings picked up my things. Oh, he... Oh. <sighs> no, she was pretty busy with, them um, with Jubilex. Well, I understand that. That's why I said her underlings... I just like my things replaced. That would be nice. It's, it's it really a minor expense when you consider the magnanimous t task I have uh, ahead of me. Okay, he writes that down. Um, I would like um, uh, another another tier worth of mythic power. Would be nice. Certainly move us forward to what we need. You don't ask, you go, okay. He's, for he's me like, and my friends. <laughs> for, for, for me and my friends, yes. There might Just be as Ori is beholden to enough people out there, he doesn't also need to be beholden to hell. <laughs> there may be some conditions attached to this one. Um, but I'll see what I can do. All right. I want to see those conditions before we sign off on it, though. Oh, yes, we could. We could be here for days reading all of the terms and conditions. Oh, can we this time? <laughs> he gives him a cross look. <laughs> <laughs> I will whip up this proposal, and um, I assume we want to do this quickly. Oh, we don't want to rush things. We certainly don't want the, uh, the council to be ru feel rushed. That would be rude. Yes, but I get, I get the sense that they're going to want to, um, when they come back in here, they're going to want a um, uh, an answer. Uh, that's very well. 
I, I wonder about you, Stu. Do you want anything? Oh, I've already added a few zeros in appropriate. Oh, this one. Good for you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you realize that the short form he's using now is uh, is millions of gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, oh, if, well, if we need to expedite this, uh, let me um, summon uh, two, no, maybe three contract devils, and then. Uh, We'll have this straightened up right away. And he ste actually steps out of the room and you're left alone. Oh, uh, for uh, a moment. one more request, sorry. Um, mm. Yes, he pulls up the little pad. The little whatever new imp they're sending has the same basic skills and abilities as the last one. Very helpful. I was sad to see it go, sort of. Though Mark would like to add the parasite template to it. The what? <laughs> You're welcome the to look that up. Template. It's a familiar template. <laughs> but why would? It sounds terrible. It is terrible. <laughs> Embryonic creature? No. Nope. Nope. <coughs> why can't it's, I find it's the? It's under, not... It's under familiar templates. Oh, okay. Familiar archetype. Familiar archetype. There you hey, go. Parasite. <sighs> it's awful. <laughs> Willing or helpless. Can infest a helpless target doing con damage as it burrows into you. Gross. It doesn't have improved evasion. <laughs> no, sure but yeah. but nine times out of ten, my familiar is on me anyway. So and while it's buried in <laughs> barely well, buried in someone gets... else, yes. <laughs> he, he 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 shrugs. He. I'm sure there's an input too that has those powers. Wonderful. He pauses for one more moment at the doorway. Oh, um. Nah, forget it. Are you happy with your Vernadon? Yeah, yeah, I treat him poorly, but um, this is more. Um, yeah, he more or less does the job, I suppose. Hmm. He didn't die again, did he? Not that I could see here. He died once. Recently. Yeah, I didn't see the end of the fight, so. You guys breath of life him, right? Yep. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. It, it, we did it with a mythic point because it was a second round after death. Yeah, yeah, we needed two rounds. We needed two breath of life to bring him back. You do realize that all this paperwork will flow down to um, the Chancellor of Hell? They will be aware of this arrangement. In fact, they will have to approve it. Well, then. Okay, he, he leaves to go summon some contract devils. Um, Add this. Yep. I am given some slack, some room to work, so to speak. I will begin to worship actively at Dramatic. <clears throat> I suspect that there will be a clause in here that you will not be permitted to actually worship anyone but either Asmodeus or um, a devil lord. I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, perhaps another clause that says I can fake it though. <laughs> Given <laughs> operation, honey. <laughs> yes, of course. He smiles, and he, he does it almost like a little, little clip of his shoes as he's sleeping. <laughs> Maybe I can help with those contacts. <laughs> you, you, you find yourself unable to leave the little conference room. He does come back with, with reams of uh, infernal uh, contracts. Um, 
you don't know how they did it so quick or if magic was involved. Uh, okay. Some some of the reams are still like trailing out of the room as he's carrying them he's carrying them back in. We need your we need your signature and triplicate here, here, and here. Can I just double check a couple of things? Where is the section on the mythic power? Oh, this is the request. Uh, it will be removed if um, uh, and altered uh, depending on uh, how. Yes, I want to see. I want to see how the request is worded, because then it will be put into the form of a contract. Yes. Yep. So give me a, your profession lawyer check. All right. He's going to spend a mythic point to understand what it's. Uh, yeah, to understand what it says. And the implications thereof. A 70... Fuck, I rolled a 1. 72. Um, it, it seems like... It seems like there might be a reason why it's still trailing out of the room where you can't see. Because someone's still editing the contract. <laughs> you can see... Some you, could, you, <laughs> you, could see you could see parts of it disappearing uh, and kind of blotting out. Whereas other um, written in blood... Uh, is is uh, uh, being filled in. Um, you get the sense that you will be given the opportunities provided by uh, Hell to absorb mythic power from entities at their at their leisure to continue blood theft. Like they're gonna, you don't think they're gonna just hand over mythic power at this point. We could push this issue if this is a uh, a well, priority zero ask. This, this is this is basically them saying you could take you could perform blood theft. Well, no shit, I've been doing that for fucking two years now. Yes, but they would provide entities for you to um, thieve from. Oh well, that's all right. Yeah, that's um. Let's make a small edit. Bar Barnabas is going to try to add something in it to squeak something in. Okay. What is for he his own to advantage? What was he trying to squeak in? Uh, but that um, what whatever creatures are pre-beat up. <laughs> 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 that uh, whatever mythic he gains through this can't be taken back in the event of his death. And and future, uh, any blood theft from here on in can't be taken in the event of his death. But like in legalese, so if it takes four paragraphs, so be it. Okay, the uh, you, Barnabas knows that the problem with doing this quickly is that this document makes reference to other documents that are not in the room. Like that is part of the complexity of the Byzantine like. Uh, um, okay, he legal. will leave little. He will leave little spots. Yep, where it says refer to first document or refer to, and and the guy editing can figure out what document goes in there. Okay, <laughs> uh, you, you're you're like looking at a few things. You notice that Stu's looking. Give me your your knowledge legal for this one. Okay, he's spending a mythic point to pull this off or try to do this. Eighty-seven. Stu seems confused at what you're trying to do. He looks at you. He's clicking his pen, which you realize you're trying to edit it like you've got no pen or yeah. whatever. You realize that his pen grab will do pen. it. <laughs> what are you trying to do? He's actually stronger than you. You try to grab the pen and it's just like... Well, just making a small adjustment to my advantage. <laughs> it's your soul. Okay. He does, he does it. <laughs> yeah, you, you start to edit in various clauses. You notice that the page almost expands like it's stretchy skin that you're writing on and and the words that you make actually snap to the font and to the style of the writing that's that it's in like so that it's disguised that you know that it wasn't actually um it wasn't actually your writing your handwriting oh Stu, i just thought of a fifth thing i want at this point, they are requests. No, I am I... not certain what you... Oh, I see. You're worried about hell taking things back. Smart. 
there's a there's an edge of jealousy from him now. You realize by rolling like by doing so well, you might be yep. showing up your own lawyer. Yeah. I'll offer your services to review contracts for him. <laughs> of course, you'll be getting all the credit. So, hmm. <laughs> so easy, dude. <laughs> uh, the fifth thing I would like is the ability to create infernal contracts and collect souls as the devil does. Mm. To be sold to Adramalik, of course. You see about that one. You can put it into the list. There's a list of requests. Yeah, uh, he puts it on the list. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, he leaves with the contract, kind of dragging the whole thing out. He actually turns around as he almost forgets, and he takes back his like he holds out his hand for the for the pen. Can I get a pen too? <laughs> I spent a pretty coin on that, <laughs> a, a mint on that pen, and he. he... Well, given your fees, I'm sure you can afford another. <laughs> There's a bit of a shrug as he leaves the room with this contract trailing. You... I stew. It's a good day to be stew. <laughs> he gives you a thumbs up and then looks around the room and then and then and then leaves. Um, Can I make a diplomacy check to actually be friends with stew or friendly with the evil? Pitches? Sure, to make up for the fact that you were showing that you're actually smarter than him potentially. Yeah, yeah. You were douche to the car. <laughs> I got a 55 on my diplomacy check. <laughs> okay. Yep. Um, you're probably not the worst client he's had. I doubt it. <laughs> uh, editing your own contracts uh, is probably not a thing he has usually. Probably not. All right. Legal fees. Um. Adam, Ahmed, and the stream. Arzapan and uh, and um, you got one vote each. Arzapan and uh, Pierza are going to agree to legal fees of the past, pre present, and future. All right, so one vote no. I'm, I'm remembering uh, Nemi here. <laughs> <laughs> no. This isn't Nemi. Okay. All right, no. so they're going to no. agree to uh, uh, past fees and current fees. It's the whole, like, you, you yeah. know that it's going to be like, I initiate... A million losses. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spam. Hey, hey, random. How's it going? All right. I lost fair, well. fair hell. In exchange yeah, no for, for not me. internal punishment in hell, there will be periodic services rendered by Barnabas that will. Uh, um, basically, he's trading instead of eternal suffering and damnation. He's he's eternal service. Which that's totally cool. Yeah. Enjoy the life of Constantine. Go do the thing. Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> there would be conditions that if ever he lapses in service, then then it falls oh, back the, to the dead collectors will show up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll get to it next year. It's probably not a thing you'll be able to say. <laughs> um. All right. That's one vote. Ahmed, you good with that one? The tiebreaker will be the stream. Okay. Yeah. He wants to be smarter. Fuck does that mean? You're gonna give him hooked on phonics? Make what? everyone else dumber. <laughs> Makes everyone else dumber. <laughs> they walk around. A, a universal. <laughs> they say Mike Tyson to punch everybody else in the face. There's a universal minus two multiverse penalty to Ian. <laughs> Those poor int twelve casters. Uh... <laughs> I just want a magic missile. Was... <laughs> they, they did something to his brain when he came back that they said they could make him smarter. Mujik Massel. Wasn't there some weird template or something like that? Yeah. I mean, I'll have to pay for it with uh, Open mythic, it up with but... a mythic thing. I mean, yeah. Alright, there will be some means by which they will make they'll make Barnabas smarter, it sounds like. It, gold dragons are the same intelligence as, as Barnabas. 
Is there anything smarter than a gold dragon? No, Barnabas is smarter than gold dragons. Okay. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't care what, yeah. you understand yeah, the question? I see what you're saying, yes. <laughs> All right, monetary stuff like having his rings replaced. One, right. Somebody fucking probably fished them out of the goop that was no longer, you know... It's either Desaad or Cog. <laughs> yeah, he's he's well. No, uh, it'll be one of the devils no. that uh, served. Um, uh, you guys Zarya. all took off with your tails between your legs, and I don't no, blame you. <laughs> we, we we bravely retreated to the rear. Oh, we advanced that, to the rear. So that what that was. Okay. Th this is within the monetary. Uh, like this is a rounding error from the wealth of hell. So that, that's uh, kind of what I figured. It's, like, this uh, should be it's it. fine. Um, the no worshiping of any deities is a thing. And the and the exception will be Asmodeus. Okay. And that's basically it. You're allowed to worship our god, or and or or, or a devil, lord. Is he allowed to mess with artifacts and things? Use magic device, you know. Yeah, like pretend to be sure. Li lying devil. and pretending is is not worship. It's, all right. Perfect. Mythic power. This is one where. Yeah, are they are they tying it up and rolling it in, or are they going like, "Hey, there's a thing over there. Why don't you fucking kill it?" Okay, so there's this will be this will be yes, no, with and, conditions, and, and then it will be um, yes, but like yes, but quest, or yes, but like it's an encounter kind of thing. Uh, yes, encounter. Stories are fun. Ahmed? You're muted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, same? I'm, 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 I'm yeah. Ahmed, just a full-on straight yes. Yes. <laughs> a normie yes. Oh, just straight up yes? You just give him power. <laughs> just give me oh, power? Yeah. Yeah. That was the first time. <laughs> yes with yeah. conditions. G give him power. Fox says, fighter quest to get it. Okay. Uh, all right. So it's yes with conditions. And... That man says yes. Quest for sure. Sure. Okay. Okay, Barnabas. Uh, they come back in. Um, Stu comes back in and says, "I believe we have an accord. Uh, all it requires is your signatures." Is the uh, quick question? Yep. Is the um, is Furcus involved in this at all in terms of the decision making? It does not appear so. It appears that Zapan and uh, Perza are, through multiple layers of indirection, are at the heart of this deal, which is an it, amendment to the deal that Barnabas made with Adramalik. It's an amendment to an amendment. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Barnabas's file is this big. <laughs> it just... It's confusing, Barnabas. You wish you had a week just to read it all, let alone to study it all. You're sure that there's some clause in here that will require a court case to to be not screwed from. Like, I like this is go hell. To hell court. Wait, you'll go to hell court <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> 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 You'll be screwed. Get your Judge Judy token ready. <laughs> but in the in the what could only be described as like a very very short period of time, like a fifteen minute read. Uh, let's see if Barnabas catches anything. Uh, I better spend my uh, five another minute for that. Oh, it's almost a good thing I almost died so quickly. <laughs> 83. You still have all your mythic points. Yeah. Um, the document itself seems sound. It is the references outside of this document where things could get tricky. Um, the part that you find a little bit ambiguous is the rate or the types of things that you're going to be called upon for eternal service. Um, Stu, could we make a, an amendment to this um, where we ensure that the uh, tasks required of me are of a reasonable nature given my knowledge and power? 
Yes, I, 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 I did find that one uh, a little odd. They are going to counter, obviously, with... with another term that will le leave it very much um, open to their discretion. Well, let's go back and forth a couple times and see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you end up shoring up some of that language, mm -hmm. but still... Because it's basically saying we don't know what these tasks are, mm -hmm. um, Barnabas. Ba Barnabas just wants to make sure it's like go kill the car the the Tarask. It's like no, I can't. <laughs> well, that's the whole point of this is they're gonna want you to do heroic things. He understands that. Yep. But and. You've Barnabas got... is trying to keep those expectations low. As well. <laughs> yeah, it, it, there's there's no amount of language that they seem to agree to that where they're going to hedge or or limit their asks. All right. Perhaps we could put a time limit on this once every six months. Let's try for two years. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> okay. And we go back and forth. <laughs> sure. Give me a DC. Well, I don't know. 90 uh, legalese check if you're... Uh, I Let me see if I got enough mythic for that. <sighs> Hang on. Where are my mythic stuff? Spells. Burn. All right, gonna spend another mythic. That's five of seven. <laughs> it's not impossible now. It's probably a waste. Uh, plus twenty plus, and we'll spend an inspiration point. Ninety-two. What the? Well, the nat twenty. <laughs> Nat 20, son. Nat 20 plus 51 <laughs> plus 20 plus 1d6. Okay. Out of d6. Mm. You've you've limited the blast damage to, in addition to the quest that they have about the runes and the, uh, and the Operation Honey Trap, uh, they all call upon you once a quarter for... Tasks appropriate of your power. Okay. And an option of once a year for um, greater concerns. Okay. Uh, I would also like to make a diplomacy check to make Stu feel as though, good for you, look what you got done. <laughs> <laughs> With your 55 that you already got? Yeah, 56. 56. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stu is quite happy with you. He's he's working with you, and, and he's even let you use his pen several times. Okay. I think... Uh, Does a... his pen provide a bonus on the roll when he uses it? Probably. What, what kind of bonus? Cool. I got an... uh, it would be a plus four item bonus, and then probably a plus ten... Uh, um, competence bonus. I've, I ar I've already got a thing that gives me a competence bonus to a linguistics check. So yep. Um, but the plus four would push it to a ninety-six. I don't know if that makes a difference. Yeah, it does. Every five does a thing. Um, Barnabas also catches that they're going to add uh, because of the attempt that you made to get rid of your arm runes. They're mm -hmm. actually going to move the runes on your body <laughs> to a much more um, lethal place if you decide to get rid of that body part. <laughs> Effectively, okay. your body slot now has um, has has okay. uh, the runes. All right. Um, as you sign in triplicate, 
which is what you're doing, correct? Yep. Uh, they they agreed to those oh, terms. Did they say anything about the the Faustian pacts that I could maybe or maybe not do? Uh, that was that was left out. They they said that they're gonna. It's under consideration. Okay. Um, Agent Stu says, should they require that type of service, they may give you the means to summon your own contract devil. Okay. Which you know is actually like a pretty powerful type of yeah 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 they're like negotiate faustian packs so we were yeah i I just wait for a second okay yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. they they said if that is required as one of your tasks then they'll provide the means by which and they're very management is very pleased that you're willing to uh basically play ball um this isn't the place to have a hissy face (laughs) (laughs) all right barnabas as you finish the last document signing in triplicate uh you begin to scream and we are back in the bellafont tower as barnabas is waking up uh everyone in that room sees barnabas waking up as his chest seems to be burning i i didn't do it says Didi as she seems to also like this coincided with uh, with Barnabas's um, hands growing back, as Didi had cast a regenerate spell on Barnabas. He's okay. just just screaming. You try to reach out towards the bed, but your hands are only like little baby hands at this point in time. <laughs> these little white, these little white wrinkly like, uh, baby like hands, Deadpool, <laughs> like a Deadpool. Yeah. <laughs> as they're growing in, <laughs> you're on fire. You're like you're you're scratching at your chest with your baby hands. As 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 he opens up uh, 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 his shirt, you could see that the hellish runes are burning into his uh, into his flesh. I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Says Didi as she's flying away and she clutches onto Sunny. Uh, um, is that Bo- uh, Capra's going to get his bow out? Like, this seems potentially aggressive. Yeah, Capra. Like, his hooves up on the bed, one on the banister of the bed has got his bow out and he's, he's like got an arrow trained towards uh, uh, towards Barnabas. Uh, Phoebe is under the bed. She's ready to do a thing. Cog, um, do you know what we should do? Yes, what should we do? We should go to the observatory. They probably have clues on how to what's wrong with Barnabas at the observatory. <laughs> you know you're sick, right? <laughs> no, no, no. I feel fine. What's all this fucking noise? As as Slake just sits up violent, <laughs> violently. Uh, Thurgus has got one of his plates off as he was. Uh, uh, um, not Thurgus, sorry. Thogram. Uh, Bob, Thogram was yeah. it was like fixing up Slake a little bit. Barnabas is screaming. Dee Dee's yelling. She didn't do it. Uh, it's just chaos I, chaos in this room at this point in time. Here we go, big fella. Uh, let me know if we need to cut his head off. <laughs> fuck, fuck you, you fuck. fuck. <laughs> Easy with the foul language, you prick. Goddamn son of a <laughs> Barnabas, you, you, you did it. Somehow you've, you've managed to deal with hell yeah <laughs> let's see how that works out <laughs> but yeah there, there's a there's a certain uh smirk of yeah i just pulled like pulled something off on his face <laughs> once the burning dies down there's, there's once a, the burning dies there, down there's a weird it's almost a mad little t- <laughs> so uh your hands are growing back oh it's so painful when when the fingernails start to like pop through the, the skin and <laughs> I like your new tattoos they're real uh, shiny tattoos oh oh you know, everyone looks like they're beat up from the fight still like Didi was in the process of helping people heal like Eamon's at minus 9 con 28 hit 28 damage out of 132 hit points. Yeah, that was that was a rough day for yep. everyone. <laughs> Eamon stands up and actually goes down to one knee uh, facing Barnabas. Oh, uh, well, we don't need to do all that groveling and bowing and scraping, do we? Don't make me make Dugan come out. <laughs> Let me out of you. <laughs> do it. I'll make him pee. <laughs> hey, uh, 
Barnabas. You fucking assholes! Blake, uh, Slake breaks the, the bedpost as he kicks it. I fucking missed the fart! <laughs> right? <laughs> Barnabas points to Amy. Look at him. Do you think that's a bad thing? <laughs> uh, yeah, you got goop everywhere, didn't you? Uh, hey, what happened to you? Oh, um, Why are you my... all glowing? Oh, um, Eamon yeah. gets up from one from one from uh, uh, from his bowing position and actually steps between Slake and Barnabas when Slake makes a threatening punching gesture. Whoa, 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 whoa! Agony Everybody... backs off, but he doesn't want to be between that. <laughs> Everybody just calm down. The voice that you can't hear is being calm. And out of the way, if you're going to be hitting each other, I'm picking those sides. <laughs> I'm going to fucking hit something. Oh, you broke the bed. Why can't I keep a fucking bed in this place? <laughs> well, so, why did one of you sleep in for a minute, though? Oh, um, my soul was uh, taken. Yes, yeah, the magic jar. I'm certain we can find clues to the magic jar at the observatory. Your soul was taken, you say? Oh, yes, it Where? was. Where? Um, it was taken to hell. Cog, could you help me with the lenses? I need to pack the fascia. <sighs> Fine. He starts helping him, and his head turns around. I'd like to hear more. <laughs> uh, 180 degrees kind of thing. <laughs> 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 Uh, they had some questions. I answered them. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I dealt with that. Are they going to keep the demons from trying to break your legs? They, they seem unconcerned with that, but that's mostly my problem, from what I understood. So there's still demons trying to break your legs? Oh, not those ones. The, um... The, um... Uh shall we say, meaty ones <laughs> with oh, the carriage. Aye. Yeah, no, that, that's fine. We, I met up with the two, and um, I went to my little meeting, and uh, everything sorted. So the goo ones will be around. Try to eat your face. Yeah, the goo is, 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 I mean, I suspect having been, um, it was... The aspect was destroyed by um, an Archduke of Hell, so I don't think I'll be back for a while. Uh, what about the Baylor? What happened there? The best way to confirm whether or not he'll be back is to go to the observatory and look on things. We what is wrong there. with him right I'm now? I'm telling you, I'm <laughs> telling you, he's sick. He He's always looking to for, for the, you know, the device. He wants to use it. And he's got gonna the device. What is this about the observatory? No, 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 no. no. I've, I have got a portion of the device. The rest of the device is at the observatory. Since when do you need to go to the observatory? Well, things have escalated. Obviously, we need to escalate our monitoring ability for the things. Sense motive? What is wrong with Sonny? Yeah, yeah give, me, give me your sense motives. <laughs> Uh, okay, cog. 62. <laughs> yeah, it's worse this time for some reason. He's now, like, <laughs> trying to convince you that his obsessive behavior is is, uh, the, correct uh, is, correct, is the correct action. And he, he's now one-track mind about this observatory place in a similar and more urgent way uh, than he was just using the, um, the Pharisee of Rest. You can tell that he's under a he's under a compulsion. You'll hear well, he's compulsed. Um, I'm not compulsed. You're compulsed. We should go to the observatory. Well, this is going to have to be taken care of. <laughs> um. Oh. Um. Was I told anything about like summon a new MP or something? No. You're you're you know it was part of the clause. They're going to provide it. You're not sure how you're going to get your things back, and and your. Well, imp. they can just send it with the imp. But... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My UPS imp. If they if may not know the where you are, template, right now. it might just be inside you. Oh fuck this! Well, you know what? He, it's a, it's a tattoo. 
it's a tattoo familiar because it, it it's a Marty, tattoo on your liver. Yeah, reasonably <laughs> so by tumor familiars. So we went with tattoo. Yeah. So the, <laughs> the 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 tattoo of your familiar right now is kind of like it's lost some of its magical luster. It's very um, uh, fair enough. It's very faint. Okay. Uh, Wait, did, what happened to the Baylor of Slimes? Um, did you kill I it? Destroy, I destroyed both the remaining two, yes. Well, the first two and then the other two. Oh, yes. right, because it fucking split. Oh, oh, you missed that part. It exploded and covered its good wide area. And it would split in two when you hit, and then it would blow up twice. And you hit again and blow a split again, and it'd be three times. It's going to take me a fucking week to buff out these pockmarks. So, I think you have character. Uh, If you give me a minute, I'll show you. Stop moving your bloody chest. I'll be able to get it done. Yeah, yeah. So how did I... Be gentle there. I mean, my life. Why my fingers tingly? Uh, (laughs) Magic. We teleported away. Like we should be teleporting to the observatory. If I could spit, I would. <laughs> uh, all right. He takes out one of his chewing nails, chews it up a little bit, and spits it in his direction. <laughs> <laughs> Let's um. Sonny you will know... mage. Sonny will mage hand his chewing nail back to him. Do... Do Slake is moving I... to the other side of the room and it looks like he's like uh, hey uh, uh, Kev can I borrow your hammer <laughs> <laughs> well my magic's already broken <laughs> um, I don't know if you'll be able to carry it yeah I don't know either I'm kind of torn it's here magic. try to grab it no no maybe uh, maybe when we're not being attacked by demon lords. Or maybe that's the time. Uh, I'm so confused. Slake's actually pacing around at this point. Well, I was thinking of using it, um, but I had to pull people out. So it, was, it wasn't a time. I believe the demon lord was at least partially vanquished. Um, Agony gives Kev a bump. It was good seeing you on the battlefield again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good seeing you. Oh, but you were very far away. What the hell happened? I was guarding <laughs> Sonny. <laughs> yeah, you son of a bitch, you. <laughs> Not, I, he looked like a yellow dragon there for a second. Agony pulls his lips back in a, in a, in a, a snarling uh, uh, grimace. <laughs> Uh, he, 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 he's, he's they're like friends of the shoulder. Yeah, they're friends that are <laughs> razzing each other. We, yeah. like, it's <laughs> for those of you who haven't been following this campaign since the beginning. Agony went through a period where he just failed every fear save and went running. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow dragon. There was a bit of a wince, but, but a, yeah. and a, maybe a grinding of teeth. But Agony, Agony took it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excellent. So we're all. Uh, no, we can't. We gotta wait here for Captain Graves' boat. I don't think he was talking to you, but he might have been talking to you. Are you free to join me at the observatory, Easy? Uh, I'd like to go to the observatory. <laughs> well, you're not going alone. Hmm. At least I'll come with you, of course. Do Rest you was know an ancient... where the observatory is? Rest was in an ancient elven kingdom, wasn't it? Huh. Probably in Rest. Yeah. You're the geographer. Geographer. Geograph. You know? Is it in... Yeah, I'm assuming it's in Rest. Oh, uh, what's your... Do you have knowledge geography? Yeah, I'll take ten and that'll give me... Ah, geography, take 10, give me a 51. Yeah, you, um, you actually, I think your group went to rest to dig out dragon treasure. Yep. You remember seeing it. It was on a hill, so it wasn't completely sunken, but it looked like a ruin, like, like the building cracked.